trick or treat. It's Halloween, so it's Cylon Scanner time. Uh, for this Halloween, I really wanted to have a Cylon Scanner. Actually, I wanted to have a Cylon Scanner for even when it's not Halloween. I like Cylon Scanners, they're cool, they're awesome. So, uh, I wanted to have one that I could either put on my kids on a t shirt um, or uh, or put in a jack-o'-lantern uh, jack-o'-lantern Cylon um, and uh, I went out on the internet and, and searched the web and there's a lot of Cylon scanners out there most of them are which are DIY is really ugly with just one uh, LED lighting up at a time um, and really erratic movement not not this fluid really Cylon scary type uh, but uh, I find one found one that was uh, using Charlie Plexing uh, someone sold uh, a kit for that uh, for I think about about ten dollars uh, evil mad scientist had a kit of course um, it was I think seven dollars and then shipping on that and it would it would be a lot of money um, someone had reverse engineered the evil mad scientist one uh, however it didn't work and uh, and uh, the guy who did it didn't respond to uh, comments uh, for a couple of years so it was and it wasn't uh, from the beginning it wasn't for Arduino uh, and the uh, reverse engineered one just well it didn't work uh, so but then I found this guy runaway pancake over at Arduino CC at the forums uh, and he he had made this one he's the he's got he's got full credit for the code for this Cylon scanner uh, actually it's called a Larson scanner uh, it's because it's made by a guy Glenn A. Larson uh, who's the guy who made the, the effect for uh, the Cylons uh, and fun fact also for KIT the, the, uh, those of you who remember that series Knight Rider I think it, in the 80s and 90s where uh, David Hasselhoff ran this or ran around no he didn't run he drove away around uh, with this self-driving car uh, and talking car and well he had a Cylon scanner as well Larson scanner so same effect uh, anyway uh, runaway pancake he he had has had a, another approach instead of uh, using Charlie Plexing and uh, and uh, PBM and stuff like that you, you don't have there this is a 10 LED uh, Cylon scanner. Uh, you don't have 10 hardware PVM pins. You can do it with software PVM and stuff like that. But he he went uh, he went to rudimentary and went down to uh, went down on the uh, assembler level and port manipulated. We uh, used port manipulation, uh, which made this effect. Uh, so I'll link to the uh, forum post. Uh, where you can uh, get this code you can also get a lot of other codes uh, for different patterns he, he put up a lot of, of different patterns there so really works perfectly on the IDE 1.0 and uh, yeah it's really beautiful anyway except for the uh, silent scanner I didn't want to put the whole uh, Arduino uh, development platform on my kids even though this would be cool it would be Cylon meets Darth Vader or something uh, like that but um, well I, yeah I, I wanted to have a just one board uh, and if something would happen I still have my uh, development board intact um, so I, I did a really 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 bare board Arduino uh, for this one here's just a um, 
can it's just for testing so it works uh, so what I'm gonna show now is how to make this really 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 bare board Arduino uh, so we begin by plugging out the power taking away these there plug away that for the moment so you you begin by by uh, by uploading the sketch you want with the platform uh, and I hope I don't have to show you how to do that you it's I mean if you know Arduino you've done it um, so so once the, the the Arduino code is on the chip you can actually remove the chip carefully there so this is here's the Cylon scanner code on this chip now it's the 8 mega 328 chip uh, so what you do is you if you want to be able to reprogram it and, and move it around you put a, a socket for the 328 on the solder board and you solder it uh, and uh, using I'll, I'll, I'll link to that one as well using uh, just a pinout diagram you you connect uh, power plus 5 volts and ground uh, to the Arduino you, uh, I don't know if you need both sides but the diagram shows uh, both that you have uh, just plus 5 volts and ground on, on both sides uh, I think it's poor, uh, pin 20, 22 and um, yeah, some other ports on the other side. Uh, then you connect the the LEDs uh, through port uh, digital port two through um, eleven, I think it was. Count, yeah, no, twelve, two to twelve, whatever. Ten ports from from port two, counting ten ports. Um, you connect that to the plus uh, pin of the LEDs uh, and yes I did cheat a bit here and I'm not using uh, resistors uh, I've been using this for hours and it's probably gonna work for hours more it's uh, I know you should have them I don't it's it was I didn't want to put down that much <laughs> work uh, extra it's another 10 components and since you're port manipulating it's not they're, they're not on at full strength at any time so I really don't see that the, that there's reason for resistors with that said of course if you want to use resistors you could do that but I wanted to port the uh, keep the uh, the chip count down what do you say component count down so except for the 10 LEDs and one uh, 80 mega 328 I have one component left and that's a CTT 16 megahertz um, oscillator um, not crystal uh, resonator uh, so it's a resonator and uh, people say that well it's not as good as a oscillator but I mean come on you're, you're gonna just switch some LEDs back and forth it really isn't that big a deal if, if, if it's off one millisecond from time to time um, and you can buy these uh, three of these cost point nine or, or 99 cents at on eBay including shipping worldwide so a really cheap way to get um, an Arduino going at 16 megahertz you can make it this you don't need that you I think you can somehow make it run on the internal oscillator but well I like it. So, uh, it, it was much easier just to you don't have to change anything in the IDE or anything if you just use a, a, a small oscillator and that one is uh, it, it uses three pins um, I don't know if you can see it here you you connect the two uh, edge pins the two pins on the edges to the two oscillator pins on the 
uh, on the 80 mega chip and the middle pin you connect to ground and you're good to go so now we just plug in our Arduino and you know the you count the number one pin is the one on the left where you have a small indention in the in the plastic package and also sometimes you got a, a round symbol showing that that's pin one and also on make sure that you put the when you put the socket in that you put the socket in with the indention in the right position so you know that the indention there and indention here and then you are you you put the chip in correctly and you need to push a bit here let's hope everything works so Arduino and um, oscillator LEDs nothing more you do however need a power source and for that I am going to use the Arduino now so um, plus 5 volts and ground and we connect which one was ground gray was ground like that if you have it in a jack-o-lantern, uh, I mean, you just get 5 volts from somewhere. You can, uh, if you want to keep it on your kids, I actually haven't, uh, or on yourself, by all means, uh, I haven't really tried uh, uh, to just plug in three AAA batteries and, and see if it works. Um, maybe you need, need to have a, a small uh, 7805 to really make sure that it's pure 5 volts uh, I'm, I, I can't I haven't tried that yet so, oh look one LED is not working cold solder probably it's the second one I'm a bad solder guy at the moment, so there's there's a bad solder there. Anyway, so really, really, really bare board Arduino Cylon scanner. Hope you enjoy it. Happy Halloween!